guys, so I wanted to jump in today talk about being an innovative leader, whatever industry you're in. Um, there's a few things that I would recommend you do to help grow your business, to help you become the best leader possible, to become the best at what you do. Um, and so these four things that I'm going to talk about are all things that I've done. Um, I've looked a lot into like leadership and innovative leadership and and what things you can do and these were my top four that I'm like yeah you know what I've been doing these this is what's helped me grow my business help me grow my team help me become the best that I can be so I want to share some of those with you really quick today um so first one that I would recommend you do is do your research and so um especially in industries like social media things change so fast and so often that it's really important to do your research so reading uh reading books about marketing or leadership or or business or uh, personal development or whatever, reading books in general, um, or listening to audiobooks if you're more of an audio learner, um, those work too. Listening to podcasts, if there's podcasts that are going to help you stay up to date on the changes in your industry, doing basic research. Uh, one of the favorite things that I like to do, because I'm not really a podcast kind of person, is I'm in Facebook groups that update me on different things. I've subscribed to a few newsletters of people that I really trust, and they'll be able to tell me what's going on. Um, Facebook groups, that sort of thing put yourself in those positions where you can get that information um, and consume it in whatever way works best for you um, I'm not a podcast kind of person I I just find that I zone out and don't pay attention which is so bad but I'm a very visual person so I like reading better um, so the fir that's the first one do your research and make sure that you are collecting that information on a regular basis however that might look for you. The second thing is instead of putting up fires, I recommend that you think ahead. So determining your big goals and then breaking them down. I've talked about this a few times in different uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that. And if you guys want more information on this and how to do goal setting, I'd love to help you with that as well. You can comment in the comments and I'll provide that for you. Um, but one of the things uh, that I like to do is think about what are my top three goals? that I want to accomplish in the next month, six months, three months, six months, one year. What are my top three goals? What are my top three focuses? Um, and then from there, what are three things that I can do every week that um, are going to help me get closer to that goal? So breaking that down like that, um, that's the basics of it. You can break it down even further to like, what are what is one thing or one to three things you can do every single day that are going to get you to that. Um, but you have that opportunity to, um, to do that and think ahead um, by setting these goals and being ahead um, that way it's going to really help I know like with my team meeting I had just this morning um, we talked about everything that we we're doing for the week and I was like okay so realistically this is our goal for the next month we want to land x amount of clients and this is what we're going to do to get it um, here's what everybody's going to do um, in the process of that to make it happen and working as a team it's really important to have those goals because as much as i know okay i want to land more clients this month that's great but how do my how does my team know where my brain set my my brain set my mindset is um how do they know what my goals are how do they know how to support me and help me in a way that's going to get us where we want to be so communicating those is going to be a really big piece of that as well uh, one of the things that i like to do uh, or that I like to tell people to do is do one thing every single day that scares you. Um, and that might mean showing up and doing a Facebook Live when you really don't want to. Um, it could be anything. Uh, but do one thing every single day that's going to get you in front of people that's going to help you land more clients, that's going to help you uh, become a better person, whatever that might be. One thing every single day that scares you. There's this quote that I really love that I built my business on and it's called, uh, it says, if you want to walk on water, you have to get out of the boat. And I really like that concept because if I want to be successful, if I want to become the best that I can be, I have to get out of my comfort zone. I have to take that extra step. And so that's really important to kind of think about and plan as well. So um, I recommend you do that as well. The last thing that I'm going to talk about for this is investing in yourself. And so this is a big one. Um, I've taken a leap of faith twice this year and invested in two different programs um, that are going to help me grow and uh, grow my business. So um, I have six months left on the first one and I'm starting the other one in a couple months. Um, and so that's for your contract. And it it's scary. It's scary to say, yeah, you know what, I'm going to commit to this. Um, it's scary to say, I'm going to invest X amount of money into my business for this or into myself for this. It's hard to make those steps. But investing in yourself is so 
important uh, to help you grow and become the best that you can be. I went a year without any coach or mentorship programs or anything like that. I had a small mastermind that I was a part of, but I was like, I need something more this year. I've done a great job. That's great. Um, but I want to go one step further. And so investing in that's been really, really important. I recommend you do the same thing. So, um, I hope these help you. That's just four of my tips. There's so many other things you can do as an innovative leader. And if you want more information, you can drop them in the comments. Um, I really, really think these, if you focus on these four things, though, they're going to really help you be uh, the best that you can be. So hopefully this helps. If you want more information on any of that, if you'd like uh, information on how to do better in your social media, grow your agency, However, um, in any way that I can, uh, message me or drop a message in the comments and um, I'll get back to you. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. That's it for me. Have a good Am one. Am I getting it? Am I not getting it? I don't know. Now I have to call you and I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> that was why I did it online, guys.